If you know me even just a little bit, you know that I could probably eat pizza just about every day. Thank you very much. And there's so many different ways that you can make yeah. pizza. When I heard bottomless pizza, <laughs> You know I got excited. <laughs> well, you know, Jimmy, I hate to break it to you, but bottomless pizza is probably not what you were thinking. And joining us today to tell us exactly what it is is Chef Charlena Berry, owner of Karmic Creations. Thank you for joining us Thank this you. afternoon. Okay, so we're making a bottomless pizza. Yes. Tell us about it. Okay, so bottomless pizza is something that I came up with because I have trouble with carbs because I'm diabetic. So I know you're thinking, like, bottomless, everything's going to fall through. No, that's no. not the case. It's basically cheese on cheese. The crust is made with cream cheese, eggs, some Parmesan, and a couple other um, spices and flavorings. Now, when that bakes, it bakes well. You can pick it up. You can fold it. You can put ah. whatever you want on top, and it's delicious. It's good stuff. Okay, yeah. so we're actually going to make it. You're going to have Jimmy uh, do some stuff, yeah, and I'm going to do some stuff, so put us to work. What am I doing here? Okay, I'm going to have you slice some onions. Okay, all right. And then after that, I'm going to have you um, cut some cherry tomatoes in half. Okay, okay. I can do that. And then I'm over here, I'm making the crust, I'm yes, assuming? Yes, you're making the okay, crust. Okay, so what do I do? Just mix everything together? So everything just basically gets mixed together. It's no particular order. It just oh, okay. has to be incorporated well. Okay, so That's this all. is, and everything's measured out, so I can just dump. Yeah. Oh, okay, starting with the, I'm gonna just go ahead and start with the eggs. So, so this is good for diabetics. Now. This is a good recipe for diabetics, right? Yes. Why? Because carbs make you feel bad if you're diabetic. Yeah. Because okay. carbs you, turn you, into sugar, right? Right. If you yeah. eat too much, you really don't feel good. And if you're like me and you order a pizza, um, you're probably eating more slices than you should. I won't tell you how many <laughs> slices. <laughs> I, I won't even tell you. I'll just tell you that when me and my family order pizza, we have to get three separate boxes. So, oh, okay. Yes, no I good. can relate to that. So <laughs> bottomless pizza is a good thing. Yes, Okay. Definitely. All right, got some onions. Good for gluten-free. Good for gluten-free. Okay, and I'm doing tomatoes too, right? Yes. All right, let me let me do this very gingerly, very carefully. <laughs> That'll work. That works. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm still putting this. all this together. What is this right here? This is flour. Or That's um, two tablespoons of oat flour. Oat flour. Okay. Yeah. Oat flour. Oat flour instead of wheat flour because it's. Oat flour, Better for I, you? I just like the way it tastes. So you like, like the way it tastes, okay. Yeah. And you can take oatmeal and just put it right in the food processor, grind it up, and make your own oat flour. So. Oh, how about that? And, and you're talking about, not the quick oats, you're talking about, you know, rolled oats, yeah. right? Okay. Can we be creative with this? Can we, like, add different things? And yeah, you can add whatever toppings you want. If you like pepperoni, bacon, meat lovers, you right. can do whatever you want with it. We can still it. do, okay, good. Because okay. I don't think there's much of anything in my kitchen that I haven't thrown on a pizza at one time or another. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I've got this mixed together, and right, Jimmy's so still cutting over there. Once we get all this mixed together, put together, then what are we going to do with it? Okay, so once um, this mixture is put together, you're just going to spread it out in the pan, and um, then it goes into the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes on 350. Okay. And then you take that out and um, add the toppings, whatever you like. Right here I have pesto. I made a creamy pesto. Then there's mozzarella cheese and basil, tomatoes, and onions. So. Okay, so if you hand me the pan over there, I think I'm ready to go ahead and spread it. Can I go ahead and spread it on? Yep. And, and you've, you've sprayed the pan? Yep, it has nonstick cooking spray on it, and you okay. just go ahead and spread it on. All right. And so you know, I love cheese. <laughs> and the fact that there's cheese in here. This is, this is the perfect recipe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just don't try to eat it every day. Just don't. Eat. <laughs> it's, it's not. Yeah. Oh. Well, there may be a problem. Well, it's Let better than eating, you know, regular hand-tossed pizza every day, right? Definitely. Well, if you had to choose. Well, I'll eat that and then I fall asleep and it's not voluntarily. So. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yes. This is really off track. Why, why, why have you got so much purple? <laughs> I just like purple. You I like purple, don't you? I like purple. Okay. I like purple, too. Is okay. this ready to go in? Yep, that's ready to go in. 350? Yep, 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, Depending on your oven. Town. Okay. So not yet. Okay. So there what he's going to do, he's putting that in the oven. And uh, when we come back, we're going to pull it out of the oven and give it a try. Yeah. Yay.